Hey, Adam here with a simple and fast review of the EXA S30. This is an open ear uh, air conduction wireless headset. This is gonna be two pieces as you can see. One will have a, uh, a microphone, uh, the other will just go in for your ear. Uh, so some of the benefits of this are gonna be the extremely long lasting battery, the uh, wonderful ability to go private when talking uh, so that you can mute out uh, your surroundings and the noise cancellation capability. So we're gonna open it up. I don't know the how I'll de necessarily demonstrate this other than being worn because um, you won't be able to hear what I'm hearing, uh, but I will go ahead and kind of walk you through how it works and give you my feedback. So, uh, so let's get to it. All right, so let's get this open. It may be a little bit difficult. Um, it's a very tight seal in there, so it may be a little difficult to get it out. Uh, so I struggled with it a little bit. Obviously, always start with the user manual. Um, try and become uh, you know, uh, aware of all the capabilities and uh, all the, you know, the, the warnings, cautions, stuff like that. A lot of paperwork here, but um, you know, we'll uh, walk you through it. Uh, and of course, there's probably some more information on the quick start if, or troubleshooting, stuff like that. So we actually look at the main device here. Um, again, relatively light. Uh, comes with a nice travel container um, to protect it, which is always a really nice thing. And when we open it up, we'll see uh, First thing we'll see uh, is the USB-C charging capabilities. Uh, and then of course the actual um, device uh, base and the, uh, the ear plug mounts, um, or phone, the ear uh, attachments. So while I have this in my uh, hands, I wanna show you it does dictate and hopefully you can see the L there um, that this is gonna go into your left ear um, and then it's just going to simply roll in for uh, for speaking. Um, it would be nice, uh, and I know it's uh, probably not going to happen, uh, if there was a ability to kind of have this attached to either side, uh, because some of us prefer uh, speaking on the right hand and adjusting because we're right-handed. Um, but that said, not a big deal. Again, this one says right, and you'll note uh, the little speaker capabilities and buttons here. And uh, there's some magnet capabilities. So that's actually gonna help you with the charging because it's gonna just, those are gonna be your charging port areas um, that you're gonna enter in there. Um, and then of course you'll have to remove the sticker um, once it's uh, ready to rock. And the whole thing seems to very be very magnetic, magnetic so it won't fall out, um, which again is, uh, is nice. And all you're gonna do is just plug this directly in um, to charge it up. Uh, so you wanna just peel these off, um, both there, and uh, as mentioned, you're gonna to wanna to peel that off on each device. Put them back in the cradle if you want. As you can possibly see here, um, we are in kind of a charging mode. And this should work once it's charged up 100%. Should be able to kind of just charge from there. Um, that's a pairing uh, right now. So it's, uh, it's working on getting paired. Um, so I'm just gonna pull them out real quick. And I believe all you have to do is hold this for three seconds to turn it on or, or five seconds to turn it off. That just went off and it's just straight charge mode and so to turn it on I believe it's three seconds Maybe it's a longer three there we go it made an audible sound that I did not hear because it's not in my ear so I'm gonna just take the camera off here and kind of show you um, exactly how we're uh, we're gonna get it connected on my ear all right, so I'm not gonna walk through all the specifics of how to do things uh, as far as turning it on, turning it off, um, Bluetooth, uh, you know, uh, background modes, all these things. Uh, I am gonna test it out. Um, I'm gonna, you know, kind of make sure it works for me, but I do want you to kind of see that there is an online um, PDF that you can find uh, that'll walk you through all these things, how to charge, all these uh, details, uh, factory reset, 
multi-point linking in case you're using multiple devices with this. All those things, uh, but I do want to cover, uh, you know, really just when it's plugged in, you'll see that it's kind of charging up. If you turn want to turn it on, um, you can just kind of press that once and it's going to search for a connection. If you press it twice, that will actually shut it down when in, so you don't have to worry about using the, uh, you know, the buttons um, necessarily on the device. Uh, and then again, of course, you want to make sure this thing is fully charged. When fully charged, it's gonna give you a uh, about 70 hours of uh, working time. I would say, you know, you should charge it every day after use, uh, but for some reason you have any difficulties, it should be uh, you know, pretty good for a pretty long period of time. There is a really nice connection here. So your Bluetooth capabilities uh, is Bluetooth 5.3, uh, so you should have about 30 meter range or about almost 100 foot range away from uh, your phone um, or device for uh, for connection and then there should be a nice privacy mode um, which i believe is just going to be hitting this button when uh, you know that way people won't hear you it'll essentially mute your uh, your connection uh, and then of course it's got a nice very tube based sound so let's uh let's try it on show you what it looks like for that Okay, so it literally just slips in right over the ear. I'm hoping you can see this. I'm kind of tilted away. So uh, it should be right on your ear at that point. And then, uh, of course, be able to kind of fit back here with, uh, with some balance and some weight. So that should uh, hopefully work there. And then uh, uh, we'll just try the other side here. Um, doing the exact same thing. Uh, slides right on. And then, of course, this will slide in uh, for comfort. And again, we're just going to make sure it should be on, on or off. And then uh, turn it on. And you'll hear an audible power on at that point, which is uh, very nice. And of course, you just need to get it connected to your uh, phone and it's in pairing mode as soon as you take it off the thing. Okay, so a few things that I wanna just cover uh, after wearing them for a little while. Um, first of all, when you uh, turn them on, you have to turn them on individually, each one, uh, otherwise it'll just be one at a time. Now, a really nice bonus is that you can not only just have uh, music, but, or I'm sorry, not just the calls, but you can also play your music or audio books or whatever, um, which is something that I do. I really like the, uh, the, the sound quality here. Um, it's very, very nice, and I'm sorry for the, uh, the wobbliness here. I just wanted to show you. I'm also wearing a hat, which um, is, believe it or not, pretty comfortable uh, with this. That's, I'm, a hat, I'm a hat guy, so uh, you know this is kind of critical. I wanted to make sure that this is something that's super comfortable still while, uh, while doing that. So one of the things I don't necessarily love is when you pull this out of the um, actual cradle, it takes a little bit of, a, of time to, uh, to connect. So um, it's not something where you can just put it down, uh, answer a call by quickly just picking it up while your phone's ringing and putting it in your ear, which would be really, really nice. Uh, maybe later editions will have that, but initially it took about, I don't know, 15 seconds for it to connect. Auto connect is good, but it, if it was faster, um, it would be really, really a, a nice feature. So that made it a little bit difficult for me um, to be able to answer phone calls. Uh, because I had to kind of let the phone ring, let the phone ring, let the phone ring, and I risk losing the call just to be connected. Uh, that said, I can you know put it on speaker for a couple seconds if needed, but you know really to me, I, I'd prefer something that was really um, you know immediate as soon as I pick it up off the base. Uh, that said, again, I can just leave it in all the time because it's pretty comfortable and it's not going to be a big issue. Uh, however, so if I know I'm making calls or something like that, it's not too big an issue. Uh, if you're receiving the, you know, a random phone call, it can be a little bit of a, a pain in the neck. So once again, when, uh, you know, when not in use, you just drop it right in the cradle. And I'm pretty certain that, you know, again, all this stuff works when it's still disconnected um, because all it's doing is, uh, is just going and we'll just double check that. Yeah, that powers it off. So this kind of has its own little like battery, it looks like. Uh, I'm not sure how long the battery lasts or anything. I'll, I'll try and figure that out. but. You can just reset them wherever and put them wherever you want, which is really nice. Um, and then just kind of drop it on whenever needed. 
And if you are having a hard working day or you're doing this in, you know, close to the gym or something like that, um, these are uh, IPX5 waterproof rated. So, you know, sweat, light rain, stuff like that should, uh, should make it uh, not an issue at all. So um, a super, super nice comfort. Uh, again, it's not an earplug device, which is, uh, which is great. It just kind of rests right on your ear. So overall, to me, the value is there. And uh, I hope you uh, enjoy these uh, as much as I do.